All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We truly appreciate it. We're back at it with another series of videos where we get real world reactions to full self-driving, real people giving their opinions on full self-driving after having experienced it. We're not talking about analysts who look at videos online or who look at it from afar and give their take on it. We're talking about real people having experienced the latest iteration of Tesla's full self-driving beta and then telling us what they think in terms of how far Tesla is from achieving their goal of full autonomy. Is it gonna happen in the next two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years? Again, just getting their real raw reaction and impression, but more importantly, by having them actually drive real world conditions with full self-driving beta and not just looking at it from afar. So stay tuned for that. What I wanted to do was I wanted to get your opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, as an engineer, as a software engineer sure. who knows technology, you know you have a good sense of what's possible, what's not possible. Okay. To some extent, right? Sure, sure. Uh, so I wanted to get your opinion on this whole concept of autonomous driving and okay. full self-driving. Lots of people say, oh, full self-driving is 20 years away, 40 years away. They don't believe it's possible to do with today's technology. And I mm -hmm. definitely don't believe Tesla is going to be able to achieve that. So I wanted to get your opinion on experiencing what Tesla has to offer now mm -hmm. and then seeing what you think is, you know, is it going to, is it going to come? Is it not going to come? Is it impossible? Are they <clears> way <throat> off? Things like that. Just based on the software. Now, software can drive this car right. in a, I have to say, semi-autonomous way right now because right. it does require some driver input to confirm that I'm still behind the wheel. Of course. Right. And so we could just take a little name, any destination that you want, something close, something you do frequently, maybe. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to activate it. And now you're and now it's free. It's doing and its you're thing. You're moving. And interestingly enough, okay. It's keeping the limit. Speed limit. Yep. Okay. And it's turning. Okay. Yeah, you're a little nervous. It takes some trusting. Wow. It takes okay. some trusting. This is interesting. You know, he's interesting. asking you to give a little bit of something. Asking you to give a little bit. So right. I can keep my hand yeah. here. And what I'll do is I'll keep it here. Right. And then I'll let it off when it makes turns because this yoke is a little bit different. Got it. But all, effectively, it. it's doing its own thing. I'm just doing resting my hand right And it here. sees a red light. Now, does this thing it's detecting a red light? Or are yeah. you breaking? It's detecting a red light. I have my feet up here. I'm all not right, touching so anything. By, all, by itself, it is coming to a stop at a red light. To a complete stop. Complete stop. Okay, now it's continuing on its own. Accelerating on its own. On its own. On its own. Yep. This is incredible. The right side. It's a little, a little close. A little close. close. It's cutting uh, a little close you know, on the I, curve. You know, I, I'm, I'm particular about I'm that. I'm really specific about these rims. Exactly. You know, you exactly. Gotta, you gotta make sure that the rims <laughs> exactly. stay uh, exactly. shiny. Now we have an obstacle coming up here. We do have an obstacle. We have a parked car on the right shoulder. It. Let's see if it sees it. And we're going to see what happens. It's uh, slowing down a little bit. Now it's picking back up. And. It's going to get over. Yeah, it's a little, a little close, close for my comfort. Very close I'll to my comfort. It's a little close for that's my one comfort. Of the, that's one of the flaws. That's one of the flaws. <laughs> okay, so, I, so in I terms see. of software improvement, we can kind of, Get it. you know, try to optimize the amount of, uh, what is it called, pass-through that we allow or, right. or, or margin that we allow right. on the right-hand side, right-hand right shoulder, exactly. and apparently on the left yeah, shoulder, left too. left shoulder, too, <laughs> as well. You hear the rocks. So we up. got both shoulders. Both kinda. shoulders, exactly. So <laughs> okay. one of my one of my criticisms about, about Tesla is just um, mm -hmm. they don't seed enough um, testers right. in areas like the Northeast uh -huh. as they do in the West Coast. West Coast is probably works like gangbusters left and right, but in terms of the Northeast Coast, New York City, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's just very light in terms of development. You can tell because of the way it handles roads and traffic Got conditions it. in this area. Got it. And that's one of my one of my criticisms right. on that, <clears throat> about that. But um, otherwise, so on the West Coast, I think you know, you know, streets are more just perpendicular, parallel. A lot of that open, you know, whereas, open roads. You know, the East Coast is a lot more. Uh, yep. A little bit more exotic and curvy with its roads. Right. I will say though, for a, and this is the S turns, which yeah, is a good yeah. test for this yep. particular vehicle. I will say though that the speed that it's approaching at for a self driving car is a little aggressive for me. 
That's what I say. So so they could probably take it down, even though the speed limit is... It's 40. Now, I can adjust it without what I want to be. I can make it 35. Oh, right? you can adjust it? I can okay. adjust it, yeah. I can okay. adjust it to make it 35 to take it slower. Okay. But what I have it to right now is what's called a chill profile, uh -huh. which says it, it goes to the exact limit, and it takes complete stops as opposed to rolling stops. And again, right. rolling stops aren't really a thing you know, on the on the East Coast as they are on the West Coast. So maybe rolling a stops? West. I make rolling stops all the time. Yeah, you make them. You make them, but that's not something you want a self-driving car to do. Well, if it's if it saves energy, because that's that's the reason you want to. That's the reason why you would do it. I mean, a rolling stop stuff. meaning it comes, it, it'll roll past through a stop sign. It won't come to a complete go down to zero degree, uh, oh, zero that's miles what per you hour. Mean by rolling. I yeah, see yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a rolling stop. I see. And we've got some got cars it. popping up behind us. I'll pop this up. Anyway. Yeah. So you guys can see this. Let's see what's what's behind you. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got to see what's going got on it. here. And again, just ask me for some confirmation. Mm -hmm. Give me some confidence. A little light front information. You know what I mean? it's, it's handling these curves. Handling pretty well, but just a little too fast. the shoulder. Now, right. does it know you want to make a right turn? Let's see what it does here. Look at that. It's coming into the right lane. That was pretty smooth. And it puts on the turn All on signal. Its own. And it puts a turn signal on. Now, it makes these turns, unfortunately, it makes these turns a little bit odd because it sometimes goes wide and makes the turn. Okay, let's see what it does here. I am not mad at that turn. Not mad at that turn. That particular turn was nice. Okay. Very nice. Um, Cresting this hill, you can't really see over it. The mm -hmm. car's cameras do a good job of doing that. Again, I'm yep. just keeping it completely. <clears throat> yep. And uh, otherwise, you know, it, it does a pretty good job. Sure. Sure. Getting to its, its sort of destination. Absolutely. And again, makes <clears throat> turns, recognize stop signs, stop lights, pedestrians, obstacles in the road, all that good stuff. Set to go to the limit. Doesn't really recognize sign. It recognizes it, but it doesn't have the capability yeah. to the directives to effectively tell it what to do when it sees right. certain signs like that, right? Or certain <clears throat> signs like that, if that's applicable to it. Uh, so far, the handling is good. This is a decent speed. I guess you've adjusted the speed slightly. Yeah, it did. It's coming. Yep. Adjusted it slightly. Well, right now it's just turned <clears throat> on 35. We're going down the windy road. The speed limit was 40 miles an hour. So, now, curious, what happens if little Bambi comes across this little road here? It'll see it as an object. It'll see it as an object, and it'll, and it'll start apply to, it'll the brakes. Brake. Yeah. yeah. Or tell you to take over. Like, hey, take over. I need Got your it. help breaking because there's obstacles here. Interesting. Uh, we've seen lots of that, and people who are in the Midwest who have, you know, drive at night and there's right. like stuff that comes out. Yeah. It'll see it in the road. Now, if it's a squirrel or like a chipmunk, mm. it might be too small to be detected. To be detected, they might right. not. They might not recognize. It. Right. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so far this is good. And look at that, it detects the yellow light. Beautifully, it comes to a nice smooth stop. Very well. Yep, so um, this is effectively, you know, uh, the latest and greatest Tesla has to offer. This is given to a limited select user. It's not everybody, not everybody has access to this. But it's their development process. It's the way that they're able mm -hmm. to accelerate gather data from hundreds yes. and thousands of users, yep. or maybe not even hundreds of thousands, but maybe thousands of users to help accelerate their their advance, advancement of uh, the software. Yep, yep. And they keep <clears throat> issuing new software builds over time. <clears throat> now, I haven't put my foot on anything yet, so it's doing everything by itself. Yeah. Right. You know, to answer your earlier question about will we ever get to complete autonomy, I think we're a long way from ever getting to complete and full total Like fall asleep. Driving fall asleep, you know, do a crossword puzzle right. <laughs> while you're driving. Right. Um, look at that. Wow. It is turning into the, the situation. Right. Um, but this is not terribly far off. It's coming in. It recognizes we're in, a, in an environment. It's, it's slow, it's kind of now nice and kind of creeping into a parking space. Right. I say it's like a, a teen driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a teen a driver, analogy. right, who's yeah. got their permit. Who's a little... You know, you don't want to fall asleep with the wheel with them. Right. But they can get you. But they can kind of get you. Right here. So we're right at the front door of this place. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. Doing a pretty good job. Yep. And, you know, it, it effectively did it. Um, yeah. Obviously... When people think about driving, they think about self-driving, they think about, you know, how they drive themselves. Right. And right. for me, in this channel, we typically think about how you would want to be driven. You know what I mean? If if you're 
being picked up by a uh, you know, car service or mm -hmm. by a taxi cab or something like that, mm -hmm. right? So that's effectively what we look at when we think about, you know, hey, how should this be driving? How yep. should it be driving? Because we could drive aggressive. People drive aggressive. Mm -hmm. They you know, turn on red or do whatever they do, and that's how they enjoy being to drive. But it's not necessarily how you enjoy being driven, especially in terms of speed, in terms of yeah. aggression, and things like that. Right. So that's the, that's kind of the way we, we think about it. Yeah, I was, if, if, if a car was coming to pick me up and I had no control and it was on its autonomous, I would not want to be driven quite as aggressively as it started out. Once you dialed it down, right. it's a little bit more comfortable. Right. right, right. And I would want it to kind of take right. take its time. <laughs> Got it. So. Got it. Okay. Well, there we go. There it is. There it is. Appreciate it. All Thanks right. for taking the time. So and, I get to uh, walk home? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you get to walk home. You get to walk home. <laughs> <laughs>